In this video, we're going to consider an investment that is made with interest compounded continuously. And when we see this phrase, compounded continuously, what that means is the interest is constantly earning more interest on more interest at every single moment in time. You can't compound more often than continuously. And when we have this situation, we can't really say the number of compounds in a year. Uh, technically, that would be an infinite number of compounds in a year. And since we can't use the number infinity and simplify an expression, we have a slightly different equation when we see the phrase compounded continuously. And that equation is the final amount is equal to the principal times e to the rt power. Whoops, wrong button. RT power, there we go. Now, a couple things to notice. Uh, P is the principal or started amount. R is the interest rate as a decimal. T is time in years. But we have this new variable of E. E is a constant, kind of like, uh, kind of like pi. Pi is 3.1415926, and it goes on forever. No pattern. No repetition, just goes on forever, almost random. E is much the same way. E is a constant approximately equal to 2.718288183, and it just goes on and on and on and on and on. Fortunately, our calculators have this number programmed into them, so we don't need to memorize it as much as just know how to use it. Whoops, clicked the wrong thing again. Oh, come on, go away, E. Let's just erase it. Okay, so let's see what we can identify in this problem. We've got $4,000 invested. That's our starting investment, or our principal. And it's paying 3% interest. That is our interest rate, which needs to be written as a decimal. We can't use 3 for R, that would be 300 interest. We can't use 0.3, that would be 30%. Move the decimal twice, 0 0.03 for our interest rate. And finally, the seven years, that is our time. So we have A equals P, or 4,000. E, which our calculator is going to do for us, to the R, which is 0 0.03 times T, which is seventh power. Now, depending on the type of calculator you're using, you can type this in several different ways. Some calculators can handle this really easily, because when you use the E button, sometimes you have to hit second. And then LN, depending on the calculator you have, because above LN you see E, and then an exponent character. Um, when you use the E button, it automatically opens parentheses for the exponent. You can type in 0 .03 times 7. But I always like to be safe and multiply out that exponent first. So we have 4,000 E to the 0 .03 times 7 is 0 0.21. And I type that into my calculator. And again, some calculators will make you do e to the 0.21 first and multiply by 4,000. Others, you can type in 4,000 e to the 0.21, and that'll give you your final amount of this investment, which is $4,934.71. Again, make sure you know how to use your calculator to type in this information. So that's what we do when we see compounded continuously. Continuously is a different equation. A equals P e to the RT. Replacing the variables with what we know, being careful with how we type it into our calculator, we can find the final amount of the investment.